Advocacy isn't hard, but it does take careful planning. This five-step planning model is a good guide to what has to be done. This model prevents us from leaping in prematurely with communication tools such as let's have a meeting with them and straighten them out or let's put it on Facebook which is usually promotion and not advocacy. These five planning steps are create the specific objective, determine the key audiences or targets for your message, develop strategies to reach those audiences, Choose your communication tools, and fifth, determine how to evaluate results. Step one, objectives. You have to have a clear and measurable objective. The acronym is SMART, S-M-A-R-T. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timed. Specific means what exactly do you want the result to be? Measurable? How will you know when you've achieved your objective? If you don't know what your measure of success will be, you will not know how you're doing as you go along and you won't be focused enough to meet your objective. Achievable? Are the resources available realistically or can they be made available to do this? Relevant? Is the objective connected to the big picture within which you are advocating? And timed, when exactly do you want this to happen? Here are some examples of objectives. We will publicize the importance of attractive premises for school libraries. This is not a specific objective. What kind of publicity? What does attractive mean? School board members will be more supportive of improved premises for school libraries. Well, how will we know that they are more supportive? This objective lacks a measurement. School board members will vote to renovate the library at their next meeting. How achievable is this in such a short time frame? School board members will support our case for new curtains. How is this relevant to the school board's overall objectives and plans? The school board will make the decision to re renovate the premises soon. Well, when is soon? When will this objective actually be met? Here's an example of a SMART objective. A majority of school board members will vote to approve a $300,000 renovation of the school library to implement the new curriculum within two years. It's specific, $300,000 renovation. It's measurable, over 50% of the members of the school board will vote in support. It's achievable because there is some time to persuade board members. It's relevant because it relates to the curriculum, which is in the purview of the school board. And it's time bound within two years. Step two, targets. Who do you want to reach and what do you need to know about them? Remember that in advocacy, we are focusing on getting support rather than promoting use. And therefore, we are focusing on the decision makers and those who influence them, not all the stakeholders. So ask yourself these questions. Who are the people who have the power to make the decisions about our cause? and whom we need to reach. What do we know about them and their priorities? More important still, who influences them? Who can help us to find out who the influencers are so that we can be in conversation with them? What research do we need to do to find out about our decision makers and how are we going to get that done? So we list all the target groups who may have decision-making impact on our issue, and then we rank them according to how important they are to achieving our objectives. Concentrate on decision-makers. Although we should be aware of all the stakeholders, our targets are definitely the decision-makers and those who influence them. When you've listed and ranked decision-makers as potential targets, 
you will find usually that the most important group for any given objective is also the smallest. And good news is potentially the easiest to reach. Here's an illustration for a library board, a, a ranked list of targets. For many objectives, the most important target of a library board is its own chief librarian. Other target groups for a given issue might be, for example, the city administrator, the council representative on the library board, the mayor, individual members of council, community groups that are relevant to the objective, perhaps the healthcare community, or business leaders, or reporters for the local media, or school board members, or others. In a university, a target may be the chair of an academic department, or the chief librarian, or the senior management budget group, or a committee overseeing collection development. The point is to list those relevant to your specific issue and objective and rank them in order of their power or ability to make the decision you are seeking. And again, you're focusing on the people who have the power to do this. This is what will enable you to, develop, to uh, deliver the right message to the right person. You also need to know who influences particular decision makers because you may be able to get them uh, these influencers to help champion your cause. There is no substitute for rigorous research in getting this right. So now that we've established a clear, smart objective and identified and ranked our targets, we're going to move to strategies in the next video.